So the other day I uploaded my Winter Soldier 57 build, a build I am proud of and a build I feel all around is one of the best in the game for Zane. I'm not concentrating on one particular thing, but actually covering all areas the game throws at you. Today I bring you the version 2 or the 2.0 version of the 57 build. And no, before you ask, this isn't by all means the better version, as many of you will get along more with the standard 57 version. This has just been adjusted slightly, which takes power away from one location and adds speed, which in turn could create more power. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So my Winter Soldier 57 build and this build are almost identical. Weapon and loadout wise they are identical, in fact in my opinion the standard 57 build suits a broader and level playing field kind of play style in terms of being a all round better build which includes mobbing and killing bosses. This in reality does the same thing but also at the same time it takes away a few of the easier methods and adds a few extra points in terms of making you go faster. So taking more RNG damage out of the equation and substituting it with speed which you will always have. Now I know many people on my standard 57 build would have said you should have done this, you should have done that. But it's a build I've been playing around with for absolutely months now, trying to perfect it. When they added the extra so many points with the level cap up to 57, there were a few things I could experiment with. The standard Winter Soldier 57 build I posted a few days back is an absolute amazing build, no two which ways about it. But this version, this 2.0 version of it, probably in the eyes of many of you advanced Borderlands players will say it's a better version. Now I know because most people won't want to go back and watch the entire video I posted the other day, I will run you guys through the entire build here just at a quicker pace. If you want details on how this works and how each individual perk works, check out the older video in the video description. So weapons we are using are the redistributed, I love the sickle and the maggie, a mixture of certain weapons, but weapons to be honest are up to you. As more weapons become better with nerfs and so forth, you can add and take away from these. All these weapons though I am using here are my go-to's and I do switch individual ones in and out for obviously different variants of the same weapon and sometimes my lob does get substituted for my anarchy, just depends on what I am playing. But all of my weapons, all of the ones I use on this build I always look for the one anointment of while Sentinel is active, gain 100% of bonus cryo damage. That is a must for this build, the Winter Soldier build. That's where the winter comes from. So shield here we are using the old god. This variant is dedicated to cryo and gives me an extra 20% cryo damage. This works amazing with the other weapons I have selected and look for due to that anointment. Anointment on the shield is also beneficial to this build giving us movement speed while sentinel is active. Speed equals power people, more speed, more power. Class mod we are using the scene dead as its benefits are just way above every other class mod for Zane in this game. What this does is whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapon, he has a chance to automatically activate all of his kill skills. Additionally, his kill skills gain a bonus 25% effect bonus. So when we get into that skill tree build, all of the kill skills we select for this setup, this class mod will activate them upon you just shooting at enemies, which when you think about it is absolutely crazy. Perks on your class mod obviously look for perks that will directly affect and buff your build, weapon damages, mag sizes and so forth. Artifact we are using here is a Snowdrift Victory Rush, which for me is just a must for this build. Again though perks on this you need to directly affect and buff your build, and what you are using. Grenade we are using is the It's Piss, this which can directly affect damage output by up to 45% with this anointment on it too, which is amazing. And that is it for the actual loadout, now onto the build. Firstly, Sentinel, 5 points into Violent Speed and 5 points into Violent Momentum. Speed equals power, remember that. 3 points into Salvation, with Drone Delivery selected, obviously you want to be using that Death Follows close too. We then get 5 points into Violent Violence with 2 points into Playing Dirty. Playing Dirty is one of the perks that has been substituted slightly over the standard 57 build version. 3 points into Good Misfortune because it's just incredible. We then have the scene red selected. Sentinel is the first action skill we use with the arguments of bad dose and static field coming into play. Moving on to Digicon, 5 points into synchronicity and 3 points into prey. Then 5 points into Donny Brook and then 2 points into that duct tape mod. This is another one that's had a point substituted from it. And then we have 3 points into supersonic man which gives us 12% movement speed per action skill in usage which is a lot of speed people. This by the way is the main change over the standard version and it's why we lose 3 various points in other places. Those are substituted to this supersonic man. 
Other skills though do come into effect, I've made sure they are stuck within this build, but this just gives us that extra speed which again equals extra damage. Okay so onto the barrier skill and 5 points into adrenaline which I know is a kind of a touchy subject for many people as the tops off guardian rank perk is also in effect but I just feel this adds more to this build over the other two perks here and we need 5 to travel down the tree. So next up we put 2 points into brain freeze and 3 points into rise to the occasion and then we have confident competence selected. Barrier is the second action skill we use here with the augments of charge relay and the all rounder. Now what this build does over the Winter Soldier 57 build is give us additional damage but it requires you to be running around jumping about this that and the other. Now I know many Zane mains out there play like this so this build would probably fit your playstyle even more and it'd be more effective for you but let me tell you you do move stupid fast. Using this version over the standard 57 version you notice an incredible difference. So unless you're used to that kind of speed, it probably won't feel right for you at first. Now the plain dirty which was substituted obviously gives us a chance to uh, fire an extra projectile with the first 5 shots of our weapon. This fortunately if you do enjoy this perk and like using it, because it does work wonders on snipers, shotguns and pistols, because we are using the seeing dead it normally adds additional points into this perk, so you may not miss it as much as you will think. Just find the correct class mod. Duct tape mod has obviously had a point reduced from it, this obviously allows us to well, have a chance to fire a grenade within our first shot. This again works best with like shotguns, snipers and pistols because you're reloading all the time. Weapons like the redistributor, the clairvoyance, uh, the Q system, anything with a bigger mag size, these come into effect way less. So it makes sense having it there, but when I do switch to that shotgun or pistol or sniper and so forth, but I don't think I need to waste more than two points here. So I took one away from this and with the three points I've gained from playing dirty and this I've added them into supersonic man and I feel the difference here suits this build much much more. Now I won't say this is a better build than the Winter Soldier 57 build but for me I feel it's just more effective within my playstyle and I ain't even gonna lie to you guys I wasn't even gonna bother uploading this video until a friend of mine said to me because it's a build I've actually created and he uses as well he said I should definitely share it because it's an improved version of the 57 build and he feels many Zane mains out there will appreciate it and feel this build even more and that's why it's here people. I mean in the background now you can see this in action, this uh, Winter Soldier 2.0 build in action, I mean playing a raid, fighting against Grave Ward, whatever, you can just see it's an absolute beast of a build and I do feel it's probably the best all round build in the game for Zane for the people who are advanced Zane players who like speed and so forth, one of Zane's main perks in terms of damage output. But yes this is an all round build, it isn't meant for one single thing, it's meant to be put on and you can use it around the whole game, use it within whatever the game throws at you, whether that be Slaughter Shaft, whether that be the Malawan Raid, whether that be the new raid that's coming soon, we've got 10 Mayhem levels coming soon too, this will be perfect there. And that was my goal creating this, I wanted to create an all round build. I didn't want to create a build where I could one shot bosses and then go into the slot Shaft and get absolutely melted. I didn't want to create a build where I could melt everything in the slot Shaft but suck against bosses. I wanted a build that's all round good and that's what I believe we have here and that's what I mean when I say I believe it's one of the best all round builds in the game for Zane. So yeah guys your option is there if you do want to try this out. Like I said it requires no new gear at all, all you need to do is respec and then jump aboard this. I mean if you don't like it change back that's completely up to you. Now the stand version is linked within the video description if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Within that video I do go into depth about how each perk works and so forth with this build and if you'd like to check that out, like I said, it's linked within that video description. So yes people, this is the Winter Soldier 2.0. Try it out, let me know what you think about it and I hope you enjoyed the video. On that note we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.